So there's been a question here. It's been asked throughout the JoJo community for many years now, and that question is who is the most powerful character in the series? At one point, the series creator just started writing very overpowered characters, like characters that could stop time, and forward time, and heal, and all this other crazy stuff. And with all these crazy abilities, the fan base has always been debating, you know, who is the most powerful character in the series, who is the most powerful ability. But there was no real way to ever compare them one to one. Until now. I have found a very high-grade, completely accurate, scientific, artificial intelligence that will decide who, once and for all, is the most powerful JoJo character. And the very advanced artificial intelligence that I used is called... It's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle, of course! And we are going to have every single JoJo character in this game, which is about... 40. 40 of them. There's 40 characters. All of them fight in... This tournament! This tournament, this tournament right here, that has been randomly seated, one character will walk out of it. The objective, most powerful character in the entire series. Never done before. But there's a catch. There's also a catch. We're not just going to, you know, watch all these people punch each other with their big ghost things and their big Hamon fucking... Punches. No, there's gonna be a little bit more to it. I'm gonna let chat predict before every single match who they think is going to win. If chat can predict, let's say 50% of the matches correct, my next stream, I'll do completely silent. If I talk, I'll have to end the stream. But there's more. If you guys can get 60%. You guys can choose the next stream I do. Well, I mean, my next one will be silent if you guys get 40. So if you guys get 50, my next next stream, you guys will get to choose what the theme is. Whether you guys want me to play a specific game, I don't know, you want me to make tier lists, you want me to play fucking Flash games, you get to decide what my next stream is, as long as it falls under TOS. No, I'm not stripping on stream, okay? You can't pick that. That's against the rules. Thank you. We have, I have one more thing. One more trick up my sleeve. Not only do we have these stakes and you guys have to predict the winner, not only are we going to figure out today the objectively most powerful JoJo's Bizarre Adventure character, this song ended, Luke, right? But I brought in a friend. You know him well, biggest streamer on Twitch, Yasera1469. What's up, Ally? I smell like ass right now, I should have showered. <laughs> okay, well. That's not exactly the best way to bring yourself in. The first match is between Jonathan Joestar and Jotaro Kujo. Scary thing behind him. Let's see who's gonna win. I, it's, it's computer versus computer, by the way. I'm not playing the game. I hope you guys understand that. All right, Ali, you ready? This is our first match. It's got a lot of stakes. Just dodging, not being able to hit each other. Jonathan extending his hand. Obviously, Jonathan has a range disadvantage. Row, but it, it doesn't seem to matter. Oh, wait, there's a random man. Oh, that's the guy who runs a bunch of people over. Maybe oh he's God, gonna run one of our man. characters here. <laughs> he just hit hey, both of them. He hit both of them. My God, vehicular manslaughter almost. Jonathan coming out strong with luck. luck. He does, he does. This is a big no. match because already we're gonna see one of our beloved protagonists leave the, leave the entire tournament. R match one. Frame one, we are going to lose a protagonist. I wouldn't say beloved because one of them is not very much like. So I want Jotaro to win, man. If Jotaro's gone frame one, I mean, I don't want him to win because you guys voted for him and I don't want to do a silent stream. So, like, and I really don't want you guys to choose my stream. But, like, I like Jotaro, so I gotta root for him. Okay, there's a lot of star finger and extendo arm action. He is I didn't actually remember man. Jonathan doing that. Jonathan blocking and Ora 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 twice. Jo oh, wait. Guard Knocked break. It into the knock can't guard forever dodge Jotaro with uh, the cringe Jonathan's dodge got some moves time. actually I thought he's gonna get rolled he's kind of putting them work the ripple action oh hold Gets on some sort of barrage in oh my god oh, no, 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 no. oh my god that was very good oh he goes again oh my god he said run it back nice now they're just trading positions all right Jonathan coming back with a little punch and high kick wait grab that's how I treat my infant daughter. <laughs> Grab. <laughs> Throw into the ground. Anyways. <laughs> oh my god! Jonathan takes round one! It's not over yet, though. It's not over yet. They do have to take two. I 
feel like this is not how it should be. No. That's not supposed to be. Oh, oh, you mean like that? Oh, being the chosen item. Missing some sort of special move. Jonathan, awful accuracy. Jordan, okay, Jordan got some punches in though. He's put in work. Hit him with the tail end of a barrage, but Jonathan's just too quick on his feet. Really he outspeeding is. Jotaro. That's a surprise. You don't see anyone ever really outspeed him. Jo or Jotaro hits a quiet little grab. Oh, Jonathan's got range on that fucking punch. Yeah, he actually just knocked Jotaro. This is very interesting. Jotaro trying to keep his distance uh, along with dodging as much as he can. Not very going too well. He hit his pose, his manga pose, for one frame. I actually saw it. Getting knocked in the air with an overdrive barrage. Jotaro punches back, knocks with the guard break. Going again. Oh my god. It's almost it like the AI to take keeps in. using the same moves. <laughs> Wait, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. For one frame, Jotaro tried to give fucking Jonathan a blowjob. <laughs> you do love to see the mid blowjob, mid match blowjob. Yeah, it adds a lot of hype and it's a great fan favorite. Jotaro getting his shit actually rocked despite having a, one of the most overpowered stands. Jotaro is gonna get. Knocked out of the tournament. I don't want to see this happen. Jonathan, in no way he's going to take out Jotaro. For some reason, Jonathan actually outrages Jotaro. This is crazy. This is this is wrong. Oh my god. Do we see a clutch play with the star? Maybe, Lakers? maybe. He's pulling... So okay, he's bringing it back. My man Jotaro is bringing it back. Oh no! Oh, wait, really? We are very much going to underestimate your number purple. Yeah, we, we likely will. Whether it's justified or not. Round one starts. Garo Zeppeli already has some sort of advantage, at least on paper. He's on got a, a horse, board. yeah. But old Joseph Clinton already getting the first hit off. Putting in an unnatural amount of work. Zeppelin's got that horse. I mean, that that's a little broken. I will say. It yeah, should be unfair. Is that allowed? Should we disqualify Zeppelin from the tournament? I mean, I don't... I don't know. Is that well, legal? We'll have to see if he's doping. Doing yeah, yeah, for sure. Really just charging up. They're just kind of looking at each other very sexually, almost. We I'm might okay uh, get banned that. if this goes anywhere further. Well, you know, it's, it's a ban worth it, I say. Yes. Joseph trying to really bring it back. Bringing an oil can. Can't get the hit off, though. Yeah, very questionable behavior from Joseph Joestar, but at the same time, like, makes sense. Yeah, he makes Goes sense. Goes for a nice grab throw. That was very hype. Very hype pog. Dyro Zeppeli really not doing a fucking thing that I can tell. I, I, he, it is kind of tied up here, though. Old Joseph has a little bit of an advantage here. Uh, Joseph oh, is Joseph. just above 50% uh, health. Dyro's actually reaching 33%. He's going for something big now. Hit Joseph him with gets it. a special attack. This off. is kind of crazy. We have a man oh in a God, photo. Dear is dad. Uh, Gonna face cheat. Dear is dad, pug. Wait, what's that really going to do? Misses whatever the fuck he was trying to pull off there. Misses some sort of special ability. About to get a shit. We have a man in a photo um, cheating this tournament. Trying to hurt our contestants. I can't really do much about it. Old Joseph takes round one. Chat. Joseph takes it with the Hamon grab. I'm You're pretty close. sure he just used Hamon. I'm not sure. You need one more. You may have bet on the right horse, and it's not the one with the horse. Ooh, Joseph going for another slam. He's actually kind of kicking a lot of ass despite his age. He is putting in work. Bringing in the oil drum again. Oh, uh, can't take it off twice though. I mean, he's getting a little greedy with them. Yeah. Still hits a nice attack on Gyro. Bringing in a horse again. Oh wait, man the paint, man the photo, come back out. Once again, trying to have vicious, brutal sex with all of them, but not going to achieve anything. 
Old We're Joseph, kind of just side dodging. breathing. He's still using Hamon despite it being obsolete in the later uh, seasons. Well, you know, maybe he just gets better with age. Gyro repeatedly missing his special attack. Very interesting. Throwing like kind of like his nuts at the ground or something. I'm not sure. I wish I watched part seven. I would actually know what's happening. Throwing <laughs> his nuts. I mean, that's that's probably accurate. Yeah. Wow. He's just wailing on him with a horse. Or horsing around, I should say. Oh. Oh. Exactly. Putting it work. Gonna bring the chem back here. Maybe. Approaching twenty five percent health or less. Old Joseph really taking this barrage from the sex horse. It's really close. It's anyone's game right now. If Joseph could hit one special Oh, Joseph attack, hits it. it. He might, he's close. Joseph he might get it. Has the two oh my god, it's so close. Right Zeppeli has no health here. Oh, uh, but Zeppeli, they are both had no health. Yep. It's literally one more hit for either person. Oh! Joseph gets taken out. It's one to one. This is the deciding round. So expeditiously cringe. I thought, is the game is the game pause for you when I do this? By the way, or no? No. Okay, good. It's like five FPS, but I'm also watching oh. it on Twitch. It's a little delay. This is pog. This is very pog. You can see that Gyro is the unlike round one. He actually heard us. He was listening yeah. to the They actually decided to use the horse more because he realized that it has such an unfair advantage. Could have been holding back round one. You know, maybe he felt a little unfair. Yes. Uh, you bring in the horse, of course, which is probably a little unfair, yes. But, I mean, Joseph can bring in, like, cans of oil, so. Yeah, like, I don't actually know what purpose that has, but if you could actually hit them, that would yeah, be fun. Well, I suppose it probably Missing the special attack. Throw him down. Oh. Hitting Here's the ground. Hitting coming the out ground. Again. Very, very oh. solid. Joseph's going to take out the trash, apparently. I don't know what he's going to do with it, but, you know, he said it. That sounded cool. Yeah, it's garbage day tomorrow, actually. Very much needed. <laughs> yeah, that is a good good reminder. Take out your garbage. <laughs> this match is very questionable at best. It because is Because I, I don't know what's going on with Gyro, he's, but he's doing things. He is doing things. He keeps Perhaps... throwing his, like, removed, like, stand testicles. <laughs> Joseph really struggling now. He's really, really with the oil and very maybe maybe Joseph is putting half. up such a fight. He's trying to avenge his grandson Jotaro, who got destroyed by Jonathan. But he can't. He can't. Zeppeli wins. Zeppeli was not the person who asked. And wow. I could give you specific reasoning for why he's not the person who asked. It's because uh, Part Seven is actually in a different universe, so he does not give a fuck about Jotaro's uh, death, which has happened first round very pog very pog. wow chat is 0-2 right now i think jojo takes this but one way to know all right huge moves already coming out Oh. I feel like Vanilla Ice is really trying to utilize entering the ball using his stand to actually erase Josuke more than I actual mean, physical combat. Realistically, he could literally just erase Josuke from space and time. That's the thing he could do. That would be too easy, but they are about to be involved in a vehicular accident. Well, you know, not, neither of them are the one who asked. Josuke's putting some work, making some bubbles. I know that Josuke has the potential to win this. Josuke's stand is actually very powerful canonically. Vanilla Ice can't seem to completely erase Josuke, but for some reason, Josuke's at 50% health when Cool Ice... Oh, I'm sorry. Vanilla Ice is not even at 75% yet. Vanilla Ice is actually pushing in Josuke's shit. He is. But Josuke he is. seems to have the moves. He seems to have the footwork. I mean, he is quite the antagonist. Despite not being the main antagonist of Part 3, he does do some damage. Josuke already at like 10% health. Insane. And I thought Soft and Wet was supposed to be overpowered. Well, you know, against someone who can erase space and time, what does overpowered truly mean? Very, very true. Oh my god. The Ice is kicking his shit in. Oh my god. He's got oh, oh my god. Already? He won Round one. He won at 50% health. 
Jotsuke got shit rolled. What a quick win. Let's see if Jotsuke can out? rectify that loss. Maybe. In this next round. Opening with a special move. Completely misses. Josuke coming up with some quick punches, a nice little combo, an ora ora. Because I think he also does that as well. Hey, which protagonist does it at this point, you know? Yeah, aria aria ve arrivederci, you know, like that happens too. Narancia does it too, you know, the best character in the series. Josuke actually almost at full health, really taking it back, wanting to use his disrespect and bad manners on Vanilla Ice. We'll this is a special attack because uh, Cool Ice with the very good guard. I keep calling him Cool Ice even though he's Vanilla Ice, but localization, I guess. Yep. Try to avoid copyright on the stream. Of course, of course. Josuke with a nice little combo, taking him down. Misses the Ora Ora. This is it. Vanilla Ice missing the special attack Josuke anyways. Josuke is putting in more work here than he did last round. Definitely putting up more of a fight here. Vanilla Ice seems to be taking it back. Uh, he's yeah. taking back the momentum. He can fully go inside of his stand. He does have uh, quite the advantage here. It looks almost as if Josuke might actually be taken uh, down from his uh, high horse, his whole horse, if you will. <laughs> uh, Vanilla Ice actually seen. is almost surpassing him in health. Every fight so far has had a part three character in, despite the fact neither of them have won. Will Vanilla Ice possibly be the first one we see win? Josuke really taking back his momentum. Yeah, Josuke does have a Vanilla Ice in red health, 33%. Oh, Josuke Vanilla getting blitzed. Back, Having less health than Vanilla Ice. Gets knocked, Vanilla Ice knocked. Close. Still managing to block all of Josuke's fights until that one. This is not exactly canon, Josuke with the throw. Oh, wait. From above the high attack. Josuke, Logic. Josuke takes the second round. It's going into a third. Good little punch combo to the chest. I like it. His stand looks kind of cringe, actually. Visually cringe. Maybe a little cringe. The Yukin. Oh, he's doing with something. A very, very good suck. Kicking him. Sucked him dry. Plus, definitely has those feet to kick. He'll use them to the best of his ability. Cool Ice going to a ball here, going behind him. Just gets trying to pull something off here. Doesn't work. Oh my god. He's actually completely inside of the stand, but now he's out. With a nice little blitz, punching him in the balls, using his big ball. Big ball. Just gets spent half of this fucking match knocked. With the reversal. Nice, huge combo, sending Vanilla Ice across the square. Bringing back his momentum with a nice little ora ora ora. Vanilla Ice showing that he will not be taken a fool. Vanilla Ice definitely putting in work. But Josuke is holding his own here. This is definitely the closest round so far. Josuke might be able to make the comeback here. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people don't want to see the protagonist of part 8. Just completely demolished. Okay, Josuke really needs to take this back. Because... He's not helping me uh, want to watch Jojo Lion, or read Jojo Lion, with how he's getting a shit pushed in by Vanilla Ice. Well, very, very minor villain. He is putting up a fair of a fight, a fair, fair bit of a fight. But Vanilla Ice, I mean, he's just, he's just got that ball, man. He can't do anything against it. You just got to dodge it. I mean, realistically, Vanilla Ice is probably one of the more powerful characters here. Game froze a little bit there, and Vanilla Ice wins it. That's one for chat. Vanilla Ice taking it completely. Josuke had no chance. Protagonist of Part 8 wiped out. Wow. Wow. Alright, chat. I'm actually not happy at all with uh, how it's going so far, how it's unfolding. <laughs> Any second now. Dio. A beloved antagonist. But his opponent is no more or less beloved than him. The antagonist of Part 4, Yoshikage Kira. Protagonist versus or sorry antagonist versus antagonist battle. Being his ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Dio. And we got Queen. Or sorry, Queen. Sorry, Kira. <laughs> we have Freddie Mercury. Here we go. I wonder Kira. if uh, Freddie Mercury's death will unfold just like Yoshikage's. <laughs> we'll see. Dio trying to get a time stop in first, but Kira coming oh, in a grab. the barrage. You can't let Dio grab you. That's definitely not something you want. Dio hit him with a Muda. This is actually a very interesting match. Oh my I god. Really don't want Kira to oh my god. Oh my god, Dio's putting in work. 
an insane barrage. He's gonna, he stopped time through the knives. Kira back, clearly wow. getting a shit rocked. Yeah, I putting mean, it back to Dio. Hopefully Kira can get a, a sheer hard attack off. That would be interesting. If Jotaro is the most well-known protagonist, Dio is the most well-known antagonist, so. Definitely not someone I'd want to be up against. Kira missing his explosives, walking into the stage hazard. We'll avoid it, we'll avoid it. Both on equal health now. Let's see if Kira can take this. It's possible. Yeah, I, Going for Kira the garage. Is bringing it back here. Punches. The Pepsi logo is exploding in the background, which is not sponsored. Kira trying to bring out a few heart attack. It, it may have worked. <laughs> Um, oh, and wow, Kira takes round one, but it was very close. Very, very close. Very close. Wow. Dame, dame. <laughs> dame, yo. Dame, yo. Dame, dame, yo. All right, Dio and Kira going back at it. I mean, Dio, it's hard to hit Kira when he can literally turn things into bombs. Yeah, but Dio can still stop time. That is true. Still incredible strength. Still a vampire. That, so yeah, that's true. Strong. I mean, he is in sunlight here, so he actually should just be dead. But, I mean, we'll ignore the uh, the details. Pepsi logo exploding. I'm actually more of a Coke guy myself. Don't take that out of context. Uh, I actually kind of prefer just standing, KFC, walking so. at each other. Just kind of looking at each other very intently, very sexually. Oh. Dio getting the grab here. I mean, DL is very flashy. He's got a lot of flashy moves, but we saw him pull off a lot of cool things last round. But Kira still took in the end. Dio is putting in work, though. I think Dio could take this. He could. He's looking really good for him. Wait, but Kira throwing him to the ground, stepping on him. Uh oh, he's doing something. He's delivering documents. He's delivering documents. Okay. Kira knocking Dio down, Dio down here. Very hard to switch between both maps. A lot of jump dodging here. Hey, oh my god, Dio just keeps falling for the bombs, but Dio's pulling something off here. He stopped time! Dio has stopped time! And he's just gonna wail on Kira here. Oh my god, what can you do against this, realistically? Um, there's, there's really nothing you can do there. If Kira can somehow clutch this. It is close. Once again, Kira, no, Dio takes it. It's one to one with our two villains here. We'll see. It's going to come down to the last round, round three. Here we go. Kira trying to open strong, gets knocked down immediately almost. Oh, Dio. With the barrage. You know, try to pull, actually, leech life from him. Like he's a goddamn Pokemon. One can almost see that as cheating. <laughs> it might be. This I don't know what the rule book is. Very but questionable, but... Uh, it's very questionable indeed. Oh, pull out your heart attack here. It works! You're gonna rip right into Dio. That's... Not your something I want to say. Your heart attack actually one of my favorite abilities. Wow. In all of JoJo. Wow. Personally. I mean, what can Dio do against it realistically? It's remote and controlled, actually. Kira yeah. can completely leave the area. Exactly. Kira I mean, could be across the ocean and still win that. Dio's got a little bit of a disadvantage being very close range. He is putting it work, not letting Kira breathe here. I do like the strategy. He, oh, he's actually bringing it back here. I mean, Dio is just so powerful if you let him get in. Look at that. Dio is just really showing off the momentum that he seems to hold. Oh my god, he's going Kira. for it. Fumbling the bag. Yeah, Kira's Whoa. gotta pull something out, but Dio, little too quick stopping time. This might be the end. This might be the end. This could be the end here. He keeps calling Kira Joestar, but that's not very accurate. Maybe a little confused. And that's the end. Dio takes it. Dio finally giving the part three pro, well not even protagonist the part three characters love yeah along finally. with vanilla ice that is nice to see and now we're going to see a fight between kira's other form if i can find it this character select screen's a little confusing right here Osaku Kamajiri, against I believe. young joseph <laughs> 
So both of them returning. One will be knocked out permanently after this match. Which one will it be? Yeah, I voted for Young Joseph. Not really liking that one. Personally. Well, I do. I think you guys made a great choice. Joseph really steadying his Hamon breathing, even at the beginning. Now, this is another Hamon versus Stan matchup because Hamon was only a thing for the first three parts. Just true. And barely even in part three at that. Yeah, I didn't mention what they are. Uh, Joseph is the protagonist of part two. Kira is the antagonist of part four. Here we go. Oh, Kotaku actually getting blitzed. He is, but he does have that cat inside his stand. Something's happening. Fuck if I know. Road hazard, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Trying to shoot out air bubbles working. Joseph, I guess, just like in the lore, not being able to see them. Joseph pushing up close. Now, Kosaku does have the range advantage here. He does. With Killer Queen. Ideally, he would like to keep Joseph oh. at about a two meter range. And it seems like he's but doing Joseph. that. Trying to throw him away here. Joseph has to get close. I mean, he does have his clackers, Joseph, but how effective those will be, probably not very. Anyone's guess. Yeah. Joseph seems he is to be throwing them. You see him throwing them, but they're not doing too, too much. He's got his Tommy gun, though. You can't forget about the Tommy gun. Can you give Joseph a Glock? I like how that was in chat right before he pulled out the fucking... Tommy got Joseph takes round one. Joseph actually beating one of the stronger antagonists in JoJo. Very interesting, especially with bites of the dust and stray cat still losing. Yeah, yeah, you'd think, you'd think he'd be able to put up more of a fight. Let's see, you Joseph can't Joseph underestimate can Joseph. Up the momentum. Let's see, one of these characters will be knocked out permanently. Both of their forms. I mean, young Joseph here is just kind of proving that even without a stand, he still probably is more powerful than his older counterpart. All right, I'm finding it interesting that Kasaku can't actually keep up with Joseph. Yeah, well. We might be seeing that Joseph is actually faster than Kasaku despite having a stand. Well, I mean, Kira's never shown to be the fastest. He does have to place bombs. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, we never see Kira go uh, too too much into hand-to-hand. -hand, which is probably why he's at a distinct disadvantage here against Joseph. But we'll see. I mean, he's got those bombs. He's got to bite the, the dust. It's definitely not. Oh, here we go. Joseph trying to pull something out of his ass here. He's got the clacker volley. He's hitting him with his balls. Big fucking balls. Oh, my God. Slamming gigantic nuts. Kasaku trying to bring back the momentum. He should try and somehow activate Bites the Dust. He should try utilizing the cat more, but he's too stupid for some reason. <laughs> oh my god, and jo No! Kira takes it! Kira! No, wait, no, wait, why? It was a draw! Joseph takes it by default! Joseph takes it on a draw! On, on a draw! On, on a draw! On a high! On a double death! Well, it counts! Chad gets another one. That's three out of 16 towards the silent stream. I'm so angry. <laughs> Let's go, Joseph. Let's go. Keep him in. Kira, both forms knocked out of this tournament permanently. Joseph taking that match. Next up, we have Funny Valentine, the antagonist of, I believe, part seven. Yeah, the antagonist of part seven versus... Uh, let me find him first. Baron Zeppeli, or Will A. Zeppeli. Um, one of the supporting characters of part one. But now, you assume that this automatically puts uh, the Hamon user at a disadvantage, but that's not what we've been seeing recently. Yeah, it's true, it is true. You can't count him out entirely. He is one of the stronger Hamon users. He is. He actually gives Jonathan his Hamon in the series. So, uh, he is the one who also trains Jonathan. So, if we saw Jonathan uh, beat Jotaro, possibly one of the most powerful characters in the series, uh, we can assume his teacher is probably pretty good, too. And 
He seems to be proving it. Play like a teacher, lot of... like student, yeah. really showing it to these stand users. Showing he doesn't need a stand. He doesn't need true set range. And, I he mean, doesn't need remote control. Reject stands. Return to Hamon. <laughs> Look at him prance away from Funny Valentine. Oh, Valentine's doing something. Maybe just a little pose. Maybe a little bit of showboating. He's Man, really the Hobbit is just punch far. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know where that comes from. I'm gonna be honest with you. Also, I believe Funny Valentine's a male. I believe a lot of them are men. Yeah, there are a few females, but let's already be men. Now, Zeppelin really showing his fancy footwork, but he can't keep it up forever. Funny Valentine landing a few hits. <laughs> he is trying to prove that he can keep it up for a while, though. Um... Funny Valentine keeps turning into an American flag, which I'm not fully uh, understanding of. I believe I really he goes to another dimension, from what I've heard. Wow, I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Um, Zeppelin, uh, I saw him pull out the wine glass earlier. It is actually probably my favorite moment. With Zeppeli, uh, when he forces Jonathan to, um, what, fight that, like, big-ass dude while holding a wine glass so he can't spill it, um, a part, a any part of the drink. Very true. That was something I liked, so seeing him bring it back is nice, but will it be enough to beat Valentine? Funny Valentine really prioritizing, um, these melee combos. Yeah. I wish I, like, properly knew what he did, aside from just little American flag thing. Oh, fuck. Funny about I'm going nice for something. Oh. Hogs? Something's happening. Special move? Both no. of them are playing it pretty safe, but they are Stage both pretty hazard. well trained. Wait, Zeppelin's about to get timed out. The time, there's only five seconds left on the clock. Zeppelin's, at the, Zeppelin's gonna lose by time. Yeah, I hate to see it end this way. You really do. Damn. Valentine takes the first round by time. That's the first time out we've seen this tournament. So cringe. A little cringe, a little cringe. God damn, I wish I read part seven. <laughs> Stage hazards really failing to hit Zeppeli and Funny Valentine. Definitely, I do like how he keeps prancing away from Valentine. They are playing it safe, but again, playing it safe didn't work for Zeppeli last round as he got timed out. Because they were both playing like massive bitches. Yeah, one could almost see this as BM. <laughs> Zeppeli is going a little more aggressive now. Funny Valentine hiding. Coming back out now. <laughs> Man, these people aren't doing a goddamn thing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They're both really safe in their play style here. Ain't shit to commentate for. Sorry, like. <laughs> um. They're playing from range. Oh, finally oh. pushing up close. Both missing. With the grab. Funny Valentine, thank you. Thank you for finally fucking doing oh, something. Oh, Funny Valentine trying to ta- Oh, something. Gonna make something happen here with the American flag. Hits a the special free line. What is he doing? What? What the fuck? What the- What? What the fuck did he just do? Neither of us watched our Red Part 7, so we don't know. That, that's definitely something, though. We'll get to the next match, chat. I promise. <laughs> Eventually, they'll, you know, something they'll will happen. They'll hit each other. Yeah, at some point they're gonna hit each other. Yeah. Overwatch. I'm not playing Overwatch. <laughs> Nobody wants to play that game. This is this this match specifically. Uh, commentator screamings. It's not very exciting. But now they're not hitting each other. Yeah. Well, you know. Can't all be winners, but it seems like Zeppeli may be the one to lose this match if we can't make something happen right now. I wouldn't be too angry. They're really keeping their distance. They uh, are. Finding very interesting that they don't like getting close to each other. Lots of ranged combat. Not packing nearly half the punch. Uh, Zeppeli's trying to make something happen, but it might be too little too late here. I think Funny Valentine might have him beat. I think this might yeah. be set in stone. I, and it might be by timeout once again. It's the worst part. Not very exciting. Not very lie. exciting at all. But yeah, that's the timeout. Zeppeli loses 2-0. Even both on health, still forces timeout.
Wow, that was definitely uh, not the greatest match I've seen. I can I can't say that was the best match of the tournament. In fact, some may say it's the worst so far. But regardless, we're gonna have to have a chat with Zeppeli's manager yeah. for sure. Uh, chat did not predict that correctly. Um, I don't know why my text on screen keeps leaving, but that's okay. You know that is just the where no, that's not the right one. Uh, oh, my bad. So we're over here. Well. That means Funny Valentine continues Baron Zeppeli out of the tournament. Thank God. But this next one is quite special. I am actually quite interested to see this one. Uh, they are both part three characters. One, a supporting character. Going by the name of Jean-Pierre Polnareff. Versus a, one of the minor antagonists. But... More so a main character at this point because of how much he shows up. Whole horse. These guys both have quite the rivalry going back and forth in uh, in part three. So I'd like to see who can definitively win in this tournament. Damn it. Original idea, but coronavirus had to exist. Yeah, we could get banned for uh, coronavirus. <laughs> the gun is mightier than the sword. Oh, they're actually talking shit to each other. I guess because oh, we're yeah, the... we actually get interaction because uh, in the, the story part. it's canon that they don't like each other. Yeah. Even though they are in a relationship. I believe all the Sexual characters from nature. the same part should have some sort of like interaction begin. Wow, Holt was pulling out the gun. Oh my god, whole horse stay strapped up! No, you can still come to him. Let me get water. You, uh, you, you continue. Wait, why? Where, where, what? Master. He doesn't even know that I have five seconds to lay my left. Whole horse really bringing it to Polnareff. Despite being one of the fastest characters. No, that's a me thing. Whole horse really fucking giving it to Polnareff. It's very interesting to see that poor horse actually somehow uh, outranging him. Polnareff shoots his sword. I think he can only do that once. I don't know why he still has his sword. Hits the special ability. Whoa, what's that? Absolute blitz. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whole horse is rolling. Polnareff really bringing it back. Yeah, but, you know, Polnareff just hit the special ability. Oh, he did the... Oh, shit! Both on very low health. This is anyone's round. They're just coming out of the ground attacking uh, our contestants here. Oh, that's the uh, other stand. Uh, the other stand the one that uh, two left hands or whatever. Oh, 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 shit, he fights with the uh, thing? That's the guy who killed yeah. Polnareff's sister, so... Oh, W. Yeah, I didn't know Whole really Horse awkward, actually no. brings in... Uh, what's his Polnareff name? I forgot. Loses. I don't know, fuck it, whatever the fuck his name is. But he killed Polnareff's sister, so Polnareff should want to win this fight, but Whole Horse taking round one here. Wow. Smoking an uncensored cigarette. Yeah. Very much unlike the anime. Yes, where he smoked censored cigarettes. Okay, uh, you know, Polnareff really uh, not letting this whole Pepsi sign thing keep him down. Not letting him keep him down indeed. We're actually more of a Mountain Dew stream. <laughs> Taking the armor off here. Off Silver Chair, making it quicker, but more vulnerable. Almost taking, like, quintuple the damage. Yeah. Well, we're still managing to block a lot of the combo. Oh, well, Olars did miss all the bullets he shot there. A little inaccurate. Alcoholic aim. Or alcoholic Andy, as they would say. Olnarif, not using the stand as much as I expected him to. There we go, though. Doing a little bit of work. Maybe not enough, though. Polnareff is useless without the existence of his stand. He shot his sword at least three times now. I'm not sure. That's not very canon. Well, maybe Polnareff armor armor once here. again. He is taking off the armor again. I mean, the speed, I hope it's worth it. It does seem like he's getting good hits in, though. It might have been. Polnareff shooting his sword again. Whole horse really losing ground here, but still safe. In the conventional sense, having one round. Oh, whole horse! Oh my God, that's like five bullets to the skull. 
Lord's really showing his unlocked potential by uh, almost losing a second round. <laughs> and Whole Horse take the 2 0. After Yo. getting blitzed by Pierre. You really would not expect a uh, Whole Horse victory, but it might happen. This could be anyone's game. It really is Neck close. Neck, nose to nose. I am quite intrigued here. Polnareff got the upper hand. A little bit more health. Oh, Polnareff just Having got his more sword. more than double whole horse's health at this point. No, miss a kick. Horse. Polnareff blocking whole horse's horse kick. Oh, one and that's shot. that's it. That's it for Pol. It's 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 one one. Polnareff takes the second round. Here it comes. Final round coming down to the wire here between Polnareff and whole horse. Quite the rivalry. Polnareff wants to avenge his sister. But will he be able to? Very, very heated match here. Polnareff really showing that he will not be taken like a bitch as much as he played like that in the first round. <laughs> well, maybe he's learned. <laughs> Look how he just paused for him to speak. Polnareff for the, the dodge. really picking up in this last round. It is, it is. I mean, I do... I do understand why Polnareff keeps taking off the armor. I mean, it's a good idea to want to dodge bullets. <laughs> Just bullets are obviously very quick. Um, Shooting the sword for like the 18th time this match. Yeah, surprise he keeps getting it back, but you know, maybe that's just the way it is. A nice dodge of the bullet. Oh, dodging Horace's bullet once again. Getting hit by the second though. I mean, Horace really does. Want to just keep zoning against Polnareff. Really wants to keep him a safe distance away so we can just shoot at him. Now, see, uh, Polnareff having a one to two, maybe even three meter stand would like to close the distance between uh, him and Whole Horse, but Whole Horse obviously has a range advantage. Polnareff so power advantage. Does have some advantage. range though because of his sword. It gives him more of an advantage over the punchy stance. Yes, punchy balls. So he can get close to really Horse and maybe some to... other characters can. Whole Horse is putting in good work with the gun though. Whole Horse really trying to keep the distance. Oh, it might be over for Polnareff. if Whole Horse might close it in here. Keeping Polnareff oh, at this almost infinite stall. <laughs> Polnareff. With the speed oh, blitz. Silver Chariot coming out. He misses it. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. Whole Horse. <laughs> Of all characters, take it out, Polner. If one of the most beloved characters in the JoJo franchise. Um, wow, that's that's an upset. I've given up on love and happiness so I can watch JoJo. See, no false statements here. Um, and speaking of giving up love, let's move out of 3D Woman and move on to 2D Woman with this next matchup, Lisa, Lisa. One of the supporting characters of part two against a part five supporting character, the one, the only, Alice Horse in this race. When I find him, <laughs> oh man, it'll be great. Narancha. The best character in the entire show. It's a debate. Beyond the shadow of doubt. But there is nothing wrong with Narancha. Narancha is a perfectly written and styled character. Whoa. Right, right. This way are coming in. Neuronsha coming in. Neuronsha does have his plain stand. Using his plane to attack, he can't really do close range nearly as well as Lisa Lisa can. So hopefully he can make up for it. Oh my god, but Lisa Lisa coming in. Excellent ranged combat, but Lisa Lisa being a Hamon user really needs to close the distance. It Except when she uses my balls of Aja. <laughs> a really overpowered fucking laser, which I don't know why exists. Neurancha can sense breathing, but I don't think he's gonna need to do too much of that since he can clearly see his opponent. Very true. Neurancha, really pulling it back. We'll see. That combo. Neurancha really needs to make sure that uh, Aerosmith, the actual name of his stand, unironically, can keep Lisa Lisa at that distance, at least the two meter range. We'll see. Lisa Lisa's proven herself to have decent range with her uh, Star of Asia. That's true. Now it's Asia, not Asia. 
barely a difference. Notice how the stand is literally called Aerosmith. I can't focus. Neuron is just so sexy. <laughs> well, Neuron is putting in work, but so is Lisa Lisa. They're both going blow for blow here. Neuron is keeping up. Don't say blow. <laughs> okay, well. Now, remember, oh, Narancia needs to keep Asia. Lisa Lisa at that at least yeah. two meter sweet spot. I mean, the red stone of Asia is definitely very powerful. Not um, respecting the laser or the gap closers. No, not at all. Bringing it back, though, with this plane. Maybe he can make something happen. Nice. Narancia really could focus on landing more bombs. If that would happen, I believe Lisa Lisa would be vaporized instantaneously, despite the fact that we have the three round potential. He does have the bombs, but Lisa Lisa's got just such great optimized close range combat here. It really is hard to say. She has like almost 10 times the health as Narancia. Yeah, Narancia's no, gonna have to make something crazy happen here to take the first round. Oh, uh, but it doesn't really look like he can do it. Damage. Oh. You know, I've previously stated that Narancia could defeat Dio, and uh, if Lisa Lisa beats Dio, or uh, Narancia, that means she could also beat Dio. Um. Well, I don't know how accurate either of these are, but maybe the tournament will tell us just how they are. Uh, no. See, the problem is that when Lisa Lisa tries to use her Hamon breathing to charge up, Narancia actually has her at the perfect range. It's true. So as long as Narancia can stop Lisa Lisa from charging up, theoretically, Narancia could slam Lisa Lisa in this matchup. Lisa Lisa not being able to have any Hamon, because that relies on the breathing. Lisa Lisa missing the special. Uh, Narancia is actually doing a lot better in the second round here. Uh, definitely learning from his mistakes. Going, wow, what a combo. Really, with the air launch, Narancia Oh, and in this kicking the shit out of her, oh too. God. He's going for it, and now the plane coming out, bombing. Wow, Narancia's bringing a comeback in. Going for a repeat, run it back. Didn't work as effectively, but it's still better than nothing. Really keeping Lisa Lisa at a distance. I think he's learned that he really does need to keep her there. Because she can be very powerful close range. Wow. An absolute destruction in round two. It's coming down to the final round here. Naranja really proving to me that he is the best character and also the sexiest male character in the show. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. One of them. Cars in the background, stroking his balls, really enjoying the fight. <laughs> he doesn't like Lisa Lisa very much. Um, in fact, he attempts to kill her in part two, so you can definitely say he's, he's uh, rooting for Narancia here. That's not a spoiler. Part two came out in the 80s. Yeah. Or 90s. One of them. Very close. This fight could be anybody's. If Narancia can manage to keep the distance. Ooh, Narancia with oh. the bombs. Oh, the oh. horse is coming out, though. Wamu's going for his uh, his daily drive here. Wamu really needs this pack of cigarettes. He's actually leaving. <laughs> is that about to happen? Is that red shit? That, I think so. Oh I think it's God. like a stage hazard. Wamu completely missing. Completely distracting me from the fact that Narancia has Lisa Lisa at less than half of his HP. Narancia really showing that he could easily defeat Dio. Easily. Easily. Completely. Yeah. Very easily. Sure. Lisa Lisa actually fully charged. We well, could see Lisa Lisa try and go for a special ability right now. Uh, she is going up close. She does know that she needs to make something happen here. And she is going for their best. Bring out the scarf. Doesn't hit him in time, though. Missing the Super oh Asia. Narancia's learned the dodging. This might be a wrap, Narancia kicking her. Oh my god, he's going for it. This one could be Narancia's game, but we've seen a lot of clutch moments coming out of Hamon users specifically. Specifically, yeah, they are the best under pressure. Narancia seems to be out of stamina, but the fact that is. Uh, oh, it might be over. Here it goes. Oh, it might be over. Narancia really needs to use Aerosmith to clutch this out. It could be very easy on paper, just needs to keep Lisa Lisa at that distance. Get a few of his bullets, or maybe even a bomb. Not really happening. Both seem to be out of energy. Lisa Lisa still on five health, managing to bring Narancia down into the red. Ooh, I mean, Lisa Lisa is putting up a fight, but she only has 10 seconds to bring it back here. It might be a done deal. Narancia, I think, has one in the bag. There it is. Narancia. 
takes it over Lisa Lisa. And that was round one of the JoJo tournament. Of course, there's still so much more game to be played. Again, this was all streamed live on my Twitch, which you can follow at twitch.tv slash screenments. Of course, this first round is not to be underestimated. We lost Jotaro, Old Joseph, Josuke from Part 8, Kira, Kawajiri Kira, Baron Zeppeli, Pulnarif, and Lisa Lisa all in this first round alone. And there's you know, a few fan favorites in there for sure. Of course, all the next rounds will still be uploaded to this YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see the rest of this tournament or if you just like the content in general. But yeah, that's all from me. I'll see you guys in round two.